Welcome everybody to KPE Paranormal Urbex. Tonight, I am here alone at Corn Cemetery, deep in the woods of Indiana. We're gonna get started on this exploration. We've already did an investigation on a live stream, so y'all definitely check out that live stream. Joey's in the car. I'm on the cemetery grounds by myself in the woods. Y'all coming along with this exploration so that way I can show you all what this cemetery looks like here at Corn Cemetery. Smash the like button, share this out, and let's get started. Y'all coming with. Look how far in the woods deep I am. It's like very far deep in the woods. There's a driving path right there. I'm walking in the cemetery by myself. Corn Cemetery. We just did a live investigation here. This is the spirit we've been communicating with tonight. Mary passed away when she was 77. Death date. 1866 I think yeah death date 1866 and birth date 17 it's hard to see it 89 I think or at 1780 but uh, she passed away around like 70s 77 but it's hard to make that out if y'all know what the birth or death date of what it says of that marking, time step it down in the comments below. Please and thank you. But I think that's a 79. Yeah, I think. It's hard to tell. Y'all let me know. But uh, that's who we were communicating with. There's movement. Footsteps. Hello? I am by myself. There's movement, there's footsteps. See, this Mary here, she's still, unless that uh, death date is like of how old it is. You know, blended in with a tombstone. It's not showing the uh, death date because of that. Of how old the tombstone is, like, like how the dirt is all covered it up. That's probably how it's like blended into the uh, gravestone. But that shows the birth date, 18 something. The spotters on it, 1887. Eighteen sixty, eighteen sixty. Ah, tongue got twisted. Eighteen sixty, eighteen sixty six. There's about one, two, three. I believe that's a footstone. Yeah. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 9, 10, 11, I think 11 graves in this cemetery. I want to name the uh, birth and death dates, a few of them, because we already did a live investigation. You can see that spider right there. It's a baby spider. 18, 
68, 18 something. It's very kind of hard to read, you know, because it's so faded out inside the tomb. Only way up is through Christ. Jesus Christ. But uh, the details about this cemetery, the corn cemetery, uh, birth dates back from the late 1700s, death dates back from mid 1800s to late 1800s. There is this certain gravestone here. I think it has a flower on it. Oh, I'm not sure if it's due to weather. Look at that, that's sad. I want to take a picture of that. That's sad. But I think it has to deal with the weather of how it got broken in half like that, but that's sad. But there's a lot of foot stones with the tombstone. There's a whole lot of leaves on the ground too, because it's you know the fall season. Gotta get closer so you can see the dates. Here. There you go. I think this is 1859. Yep. It's hard to make out the other death date. Again, we already did the investigation on a live stream, so y'all definitely check that out. It's the, uh, you know, corn cemetery, live investigation of the cemetery. We got some great evidence, got some answers about Mary's death. Of how she passed away, she passed away due to overheating and her fan gave out and she passed on like she had a fever and the fan helped her to keep, keep cool and she lost the electricity of that and she sadly passed away and again the answers were from that spirit which we got on the live stream so y'all check out that live stream too if you come across this video to wrap up this exploration of the cemetery hope you all like this cemetery it's a small cemetery not too big but it's still decent to do an investigation in and, and it's definitely creepy because it's right about woods deep in the woods and we had to drive all the way up but we had to drive all the way up here to get to here so it's like far deep in the woods kind of like Casey cemetery also known as gates of hell in kentucky so this kind of like matches with that matches with that cemetery but this doesn't have that many this does not have that many graves as the one in Casey do. So this is pretty much kinda similar. Gonna wrap it up. Again, corn cemetery. I am making my way back to the car. It's outside of Corn Cemetery. Very interesting looking cemetery. As you see, we're completely surrounded by woods. Joey's staying in the car. And I walked 
and to the cemetery by myself. So that was very cool. Tripod. It is. Try to figure out the word. Tripod is closed. It is put back together the way it is. Just gotta do this. Video light died. And it'll be set. Just like that. Yeah. I want to film the cemetery. Then we'll go. Once I film the cemetery, we'll go. What's going on y'all? This will wrap up this exploration here at the cemetery. I hope y'all like the looks of this place. It is definitely a small place, not as big as many cemeteries we've been to. It's still a nice place to, you know, get out and do an investigation. And it's in the open, wide area. It's in the middle of nowhere, deep in the woods, surrounded by woods, so it has a creepy aspect. So it's definitely a great place for the investigation. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure to smash the like button, share this out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Love and peace, y'all.